I'm being joined here by Colin Hanks, who is playing Gus Grimley in Fargo, the TV show. Uh, you've got some snow going on. You're right off set here this morning. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the character that you play. Uh, I play Gus Grimley, who's a, uh, a single father and a... Uh, well, he's an officer, a poor officer, probably is the best way to describe him with the Duluth PD. And uh, he pulls over uh, Lauren Malvo, who's played by Billy Bob Thornton one night, and sort of gets sucked into the story of uh, Fargo. Yes, without giving away too much. Yeah, I don't want to give away too much. But he's a he's a he's a he's a good uh, a good guy, a, 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 you know, a, a well-meaning guy. If, if a, a little bit of um, poor at his job he's he's not a didn't necessarily mean to be a cop he just sort of fell into it but he makes a he makes a mistake and and he tries to to fix it he lets malvo go and he wants to try and fix that so it sort of sets the whole thing in motion okay. he's got good intentions a good heart yes, yes. good hearted cop yes. we like that uh tell us a little bit about how you discovered this project and what your initial impressions of reading the script well, uh, it was sent to me through the various uh, showbiz uh, uh, channels, um, and uh, I read it really not um, expecting much. I just sort of didn't really want to have too many expectations going in, but um, the pilot script that, that Noah wrote, you know, our, our, our creator and showrunner, he's, uh, he's an incredibly talented writer, and it was a very, very interesting, well-written piece that uh, sort of went against sort of the... Um, sort of the, the, the tropes that you have to go through when you're, you know, reading a pilot. You know, normally you got to introduce all the main characters in the first 10 pages. And here's a script where, you know, a main character was introduced in the 40th minute of the, of the show. So that kind of uh, a, a storytelling actually really appealed to me. And, and the character, uh, you know, himself, Gus, is a, is a hyper-aware character. He's aware of his shortcomings. He's aware of the, the mistake that he's made. And, and he spends uh, uh, the better half of... Um, um, he spends a better part of the show trying to atone for that, and that that kind of character trait actually really appealed to me. Mm. And the beauty of the Coen brothers, and uh, what, you know what they developed in the movie, was how real the characters are with sort of these over-the-top comedic qualities. Is Gus the same way? Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily think that he's the same way. You know, he he really. Um, he's aware that he's out of his depth. He's aware that he's out of his element. And I, and I think there's funny moments in there, but it's never really played for comedic effect. It, it, it really is just sort of played as reality. You know, I, I think a lot of times, sometimes um, uh, real life is funnier than any kind of setup that you could possibly do, which is not to say that there aren't some jokes in here. There is. It's not all, it's not all serious drama. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, we're very cognizant of the fact that, you know, the, the film had a specific tone, and, and that's definitely the tone of our show, and we, we just try and uh, uh, match it as best as we can while also being our own self-contained you know, unit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fun for you to play? Yeah, a lot of fun. It's been very challenging. You know, the, the accents have been a lot of fun to be able to play with, to do the Minnesota nice kind of accent. It's been a lot of fun. And, um, you know, obviously the, the people involved in the show, I mean, they're just so good. You know, Noah's such a talented writer, but then there's Billy Bob and, you know, Bob Odenkirk and Oliver Platt and Adam Goldberg and Allison Tolman, who's come from Chicago out of nowhere and just crushes it. It's a uh, it's it's been a it's it's been a great, great gig. Yeah. Have you found yourself slipping in and out of the accent? You know, I think more than anything else, I just sort of slip in and out of a, uh, a Canadian accent because we shoot it up here. You know, that's actually kind of beneficial to be able to hear, you know, an accent. Um, uh, you know, I just got to make sure I don't say like sorry or anything like that. We, we have an accent? Yeah, see, that's the great thing about accents. <laughs> when you have one, you never think you do. Yeah. Sorry, eh? Yep. <laughs> There's that one too. Right. And of course, shooting in the Canadian winter, which is, has its challenges. Was that challenging for you? We've heard the cold being described as another character in the show. Well, yeah. I mean, as much as accents were, you know, a character, uh, the snow is as well, you know. And um, yeah, it's, it's hard. I mean, when you're doing a night shoot, you know, in the middle of winter and it's minus 30 outside, I mean, that's not, that's not fun to shoot in. Um, but um, you sort of find ways to, to get through it, and you use, you know, hand warmer technology and things of the like, and you go into a lot of strangers' houses saying, like, hey, can we warm up for a little bit and stuff like that. But, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, been, it's been hard, and it's a challenge. But, um, again, it, 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 it's, it's part of the story. I mean, you, you can't really have Fargo without it. Yeah. Have you seen any of it? The show? Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw the pilot. 
Yeah, um, but I haven't really seen anything else. I'm sort of um, with everybody else. I'll be I'll be watching when it's on. Going along for the ride. Mm-hmm. All right, we're excited for it. Yeah, me too.